Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. And as you all know, as I posted yesterday, the DLSS 4 for Unreal Engine 5 is now available for y'all to download. So in this video, we're going to be playing around with it, like usual, here on the channel. That said, we are here in the Dark Ruins Mega Scans asset, and I just imported this amazing knight with a shotgun right so right now i'm running this at 4k recording it through obs using av1 at qcp 10 so just keep that in mind uh msi afterburner all in one computer so a lot of stuff's happening right now in this computer i have an intel cpu 12 series and rtx 4090 founders edition so let's go to the settings here i have it at windowed and for right now we're gonna set everything to high this is kind of like your baseline, if you will, for like gaming, right? I'll apply the settings here and we will go ahead and exit out. Now, as far as the scene goes, I didn't change anything except for the post-process volume inside. I turned up the, um, the reflections. I changed it to hit light reflections because by default, it is surface cache. So if you want to try it on your own, on your computer, uh, basically just change it to hit re hit light reflections so uh, again also i don't think they meant for this to be a playable demo so the collisions might be a little wonky um so just keep that in mind and right now this rtx 4090 is doing a pretty darn good job at just see as you can see right there uh everything this is off everything just kind of like regular if you will so we're going to go up the stairs here. And again, I added a little wooden plank here. So I'm going to be floating here because my jump is not high enough. So we have this little... Oh, and I had to turn up the, uh, the brightness outside. It was a little bit too dark. So here we go. Let's go in. And this is probably one of my favorite... Mega scans assets uh, environment. I really wish they would do more. I was actually looking into something like this for a short that I had in mind. But yeah, right now 73 frames per second. And I put a car in here, the reflection, reflective car that you know we always kind of take a look at here on the channel. So this is our baseline high settings, if you will. Um, really nice. I think they're actually doing a live stream about this environment today. You got some nice fake caustics in there i don't know how they did that yet maybe they'll kind of explain that today whenever they do the uh, live stream but that's pretty impressive stuff and right now i'm dropping down to about 60 frames per second at high settings but i don't make videos just for high settings so i'm gonna go ahead and turn this to pretty much ultra the whole way Ultra, ultra, and again, I'm recording this 60 frames per second, 4K using OBS, and we'll close this down. As you can see right now, our FPS basically went to 35 frames per second. Now that we have everything turned up to ultra, I'm using about 90% of my GPU, so it's... uh. It's, it's crying at the moment. And I know the car scaling is wrong. Apologize for that. I just got to drag and drop that in there. So yeah, this is insane. All right, this is the 4090 we're talking about. Running at 30 frames per second, ultra settings, 4K. All right, so let's go ahead and kind of start flipping some switches. Now we're going to take a look at a couple of things here. The first thing that I want to take a look at are these rock assets. Mind you, again, I don't think they optimized any of this. As far as I know, it was for cinematic, so they probably went YOLO on it. I mean, I could take a look at it later in Unreal Engine 5. So here's the kind of like the rock assets. I'm seeing a lot of video games with a lot of rocks, like photo scan rocks. So this is a good way. Um, so right now, we go at 40 frames per second or so. And what I will do is kind of like stay in this area because I do like this, this environment here. <laughs> I'm going to turn on the actual DLSS by pressing J. Automatically, you're going to see the FPS jump to 70 frames per second, all right, by just switching it on at 70, okay? So now that we have that on, I can go to P, and I'm going to turn that off, right? Again, before and after here, 
if I turn on DLSS 4, you get double FPS and then P turning it off. Visually, I can't say anything when we're looking at just the rocks itself. Okay. So let's start flipping some super resolutions in here. So if I press in K, this is going to be your ultra performance, right? And as you expect, ultra performance is the lowest quality of super resolution. You're going to see that it's going to get blurry a little bit. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to print screen this so that you can see it. I know it's hard to see it sometimes on like a live stream. All right, so this is ultra perf. And we'll go back. Now I'll try not to move it, okay? All right, so now what we'll do is press L. L is gonna be your performance. So you can see we drop about 20 frames per second. And similarly, I will print screen this and paste it on top. Save it as. This is going to be your perf. I'm going to try not to move. I'm trying to keep the same framing here. Now, J is on. K is ultra perf. L is perf. U is going to be your balanced. This is my favorite flavor of DLSS, even DLSS 2. All right, so 25 frames per second. Print screen that, dropping to like 99 or whatever. I will print screen that and save that here so you can pixel peep it. Uh, balanced. Okay. All right. Quick advertisement. If you want to support the channel, the best way to do that is actually play my Fortnite games. To play them, all you got to do is search in Fortnite and type in Warborn. Now, what we'll do is we will go into the I. Now, I is going to be your quality mode. All right, a lot of people, you know, prefer quality. So that's that. Again, about 95 frames per second. So I will copy. Oh, I didn't print screen it. Sorry. Print screen. And actually, we got 70 frames per second. Okay, hang on, hang on. It was kind of messing up. There, 95. I think I was all tab. So about 95 frames per second. And this is going to be your quality. Okay. And then lastly, O is going to be your DLAA, right? So again, we're going to lose some frames per second once again, because a DLAA, that's like you're going for quality. You don't really care about performance. So screenshot of that. Oh, no, I did not screenshot that. So let me go ahead and screenshot that real quick. Print. Oh, I think the rock just kind of came down so let's print that about 40 wait i keep on alt tabbing i just want to make sure that we capture it so it's about 67 i'm not going to move the mouse there you go it's about 64 frames per second 67 64 for our quality no this is our dla then i'm getting confused all right and again we'll press p to turn all of that off and this is going to be our native resolution at 37 frames per second. Okay, so this is our native res. And I'm going to let y'all download this so you can see it on your screen because I'm pretty sure that um, YouTube is going to destroy this. All right, so let's go back real quick. Again, for me, I would say you balanced is my go-to. Let's take a look at the motions real quick. Because I know you kind of saw the screen, but you're not really seeing the motions. I mean, the, the actual water shader material still looks good. I don't think that's actually water. I'm pretty sure it's just a material. So that looks good. We're running about 60 frames per second at 4K. I mean, pretty, pretty crazy. This is, we've tested DLSS before. And the highest I was able to go to before was like high settings. We are in ultra settings here, pulling balanced at 62 frames per second. So that's the motion there. Let's go with quality and drop down that FPS a little bit to 50. Again, here's our motion. 
get some motion. If you're playing a game, you know, this is fake frames, all right? So this is DLSS. And what I'm going to do is go with DLA-A now. Again, this is going to drop that. We're going to, ooh, 37 frames per second. Again, DLA-A is, that's the crispy of, you know, DLSS, the NVIDIA technology. It's almost as close to TSR. You know, that's like an anti-aliasing. So there is your DLA-A. And here is our P, which is going to be our native. Let's see if I can press that. There you go. 36, 37. Now, my eyes through the screen that I'm looking at from balanced and have it off visually, I can't tell the difference. Now, I'm sitting here just walking around. This is probably going to be a different case if you have like a car racing game, right? So for me, in a game like this, for it being off right now to using DLSS balanced frame generation, right? I can't see the difference, right? So to me, at least, this technology is really getting really really better we're talking ultra settings this is meant for cinematics high settings is your typical high-end pc gaming epic maybe this is cinematic settings this is short film quality we're rendering right now at 55 frames per second even more so if i go to quality bananas absolute Bonker, bonkers, it's bonkers. This is bonkers, all right? So long story short, I'm going to be making a one-minute video about this, talking about the different technologies in the LSS4. This is only frame generation. This is only generating one frame. With the RTX 5090, which I should be getting hopefully soon, the LSS4 MFG, or multi-frame generation, is supposed to be generating up to three frames. This is Unreal Engine 5. I didn't pre-train this. I just packaged it and it performed this well. Now I'm curious to know how the RTX 5090 is going to look and perform versus this RTX 4090 right now. Because again, I'm going to keep those screenshots and I'm going to run the same exact package and we're going to be doing the same exact thing with the RTX 5090 whenever that comes out. Now, I'm going to stop this video right here because I'm going to separate the ray reconstruction video. Because as you all know, DLSS 4 includes ray reconstruction also. So that said, let me know in the comments below what you all think about this. And again, download the files in the comments below so you can enlarge this 4K image and you can see it for yourself. All right, that said, I'll see y'all shortly. Peace out.